let's chat about how to fix horizontal overlap on bite wings on this Kilgore International Radiology model. First, it's helpful to remember that the face is more triangular shaped, but often we treat it like it's a square, and that's going to close your contacts. So let's start with the premolars here. Your PID should be perpendicular, kind of like a T shape, to the natural angle of the jawline. So if you're treating the head like it's a square box and not following the natural curvature of the occlusion, the contacts are going to be closed. From the front, you can see that there's a large gap here. So you're going to want to turn that PID mesially here to close that gap and make it more perpendicular to the jawline. From another perspective, you can imagine the x-rays traveling out of the PID in a straight line, just like the string. So I'm trying to aim it directly through the teeth. And if my horizontal angulation is off, the string or the x-ray will not go directly interproximal. It will overlap each other. One simple way to get the right location for the premolar shot is to make sure that the center of the PID is directly lined up with the edge right here of the nose. And similarly, the corner of the eye is a good landmark to line up the center of the PID for the molar shot. Another important part of the molar shot is getting the receptor posterior enough. So as the patient closes down, the soft palate will open a little bit more, and then you can gently push the receptor more posterior as they close. Now, to keep the contacts open on the molars, the angle is actually not quite as mesial as it was on the premolars. But the same principles are going to apply of keeping that PID perpendicular to the natural curvature of the bite. It is helpful to be able to use a typodont as you can then test it by moving it too mesially or distally. And you can expose as many times as you want and practice until it's perfect.